presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, old Peter Hawkins, the little cockney whom Jungle Jim befriended when he saved him from the attack of a bullying waiter in the jockey club, told Jim something of his tragic story. Hawkins had hardly begun when they were interrupted by the arrival of Shanghai Lil, who returned from her latest assignment for General Fu Young Sen. A few moments later, the Purple Triangle Avenger, Sergei, came to kill Jim for his part in nipping the revolution. Then, Shanghai Lil, who was concealed back of a curtain, crept up behind the Russian assassin and knocked him out with the butt of her gun. Jim told Lil that the Russian's companion, Anna, would soon be making her appearance also. And so our friends wait for her. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Jungle Jim, Hawkins, and Shanghai Lil... Stand over the bound and gagged Sergey, who lies where he fell on the floor. Do you really think this Russian's girlfriend will be up here after you, Jim? I certainly do, Lil. Any time now. Blimey. This time I ain't going to be speak sight and said, I can tell you. And I can tell you, there'll be plenty. I just want to get my hands on that dame for about one minute. <laughs> well, as I remember it, Lil, the old Queensbury rules used to allow one knockdown in each round. One will be all I'll need, Jim. How'd you come to get mixed up with the two of them, Lil? I didn't come any place to get mixed up with them. They came to me. You see, I just got settled in my rooms and started to unpack. When there came a knock at the door, mm-hmm. I opened it. There was this blonde standing there. She asked me if I was really the real, and when I said yes, she whipped out a gun and covered me and called over her shoulder, We've got her! Come on, Sergey. Oh, I see. And that was the cue for this chap here to appear, eh? Yes, he'd been standing to one side of the door. When she called him, he popped into sight like a jack-in-the-box. And the two of them tied me up. But how did they get you out of the hotel without being seen? Oh, didn't you know? They lowered me out of the window on a rope. I say, like a blinking circus turn, eh, what? Listen. What is it, Jim? I think our other Avenger of the Purple Triangle is coming in the same way. The bedroom window. Jim! Now, everybody keep quiet. Hawkins, you get over there. Roger. Lil, get over there by the door so the woman won't see you when she opens it. All right. I'll just sit here pretending to read. But I'll have my gun in my hand. At last, Jungle Jim, I... Stand right where you are. I've got you covered. Say, who tipped you off I was coming? Your boyfriend, there on the floor. Sergei, is he... Is he dead? No, he isn't, I'm sorry to say. Shanghai Lil. In person, and not a moving picture. Uh, Who's this? Never mind. Take a gun away, Lil. You bet I will. There it is. Why, you... Well, out of reach. Now, you put yours down, Jim. I've got a score to settle with this baby. If she makes a move to that gun on the floor... Okay, Lil. Say, what kind of a game is this? I don't wonder you ask. It's the kind of game you don't know how to play. It's called a fair fight. Oh, yeah? You managed to escape once, Lloyd DeVriel. But we'll get you yet. Not before you get what's coming to you. Now, listen, sister. I'm going to do the talking. And I don't want a chirp out of your calcium mine pan. Why, you... Who you do you get... think you are, anyway? I was Derek Bluger's sweetheart. Who'd you follow in the park? Follow? I'm sure you didn't create it. No? I want you to know now, for good and all, Derek Bluger and his whole crazy house dream of the Purple Triangle don't mean a thing to me. Traitor. No, sir, but there is something that does mean a great deal huh. to me. What's that? This jungle gym here? What I'm talking about is the way you and your caviar cavalier shanghaied me from my hotel room. And here's where I pay you all. Why, you... And I'm going to take it out of your milk white hide and be all over. You can and I'll show you. And maybe get cousin, too. Get away from Here, me. get your hands off me. Leave me alone. Get... I'll hey, show hey, you. Hey, hey, Lil, 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 come up for air. Here, Lil, leave this girl alone. General Fu Young Sun will punish her enough when I turn him over to him, along with Sergey there. Come on. It's all right, Colo. Everything's under control. Quiet. Pick up Sergey over there and lug him back to Fu Young Sen. Yes, it's fine. Think you can handle the girl, too? Just a minute, Jim. I'm taking care of Annie. Oh, yeah? You can't talk to me like you that. You shut up. Watch my stuff while I'm gone, will you, Jim? You bet, Lil. Go ahead with Sergei Kolu. Come on, Annie. Take your hands off I'll me. put it out this door, but not too fast. I'm speaking to you like a bird. You leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Strike me blind. She's a thoroughbred filly, that one is, eh, Governor? <laughs> Think so, Hawkins? <laughs> that I do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Give me old Aunt Good to see her sailing to the other one like that. Well, Lil's a fighter, all right. <laughs> well, 
Now that that's over, uh, why don't you sit down, Hawkins? Thank you, sir. You were uh, telling me about your son. Yes, sir. You sent him to Oxford, and he got his uh, Doctor of Medicine degree. That's right, Mr. Bradley, sir. And I was the happiest and proudest father in the old blooming country. In the world, even, I might say, when I see him graduate. And me, a cab driver, making it possible. But I always knew it was too good to be true, sir. Well, uh, why do you say that, Hawkins? Well, then come the war, sir. 1914. I can remember it like it was done. to be done, Sam? Yes, Father. In a way, it is. Oh, what do you mean, Ronnie? In, in a way. Sit down, Father. I'll tell you. Ah, Ronnie, right thank you. Always glad for a chance to sit there. Their back's kicking up again. Now yeah, then, Sam, what's up? Well, first, I want you to know I think you're the finest father in the whole world. Oh, oh I say now. What's this? It's the truth. And I want you to know it. In case I never happen to mention the subject again. Hold up now, hold up. What's coming off here? But I, I suppose that sounds pretty morbid. Oh, but you see, I've got something on my mind. I, well, a bit of a strain telling you about it. Blimey, if I know what you're getting at, Ronnie. Well, all right. Father, I'm joining up. What? Yeah. You're taking the king's shilling? Yes. As a matter of fact, I have. My outfit leaves tonight. Tonight? Yes. Tonight? Ronnie. Ronnie. Yes. You see, Father, I can't go on looking at stout old ladies, prescribing for their indigestion, uh, taping up old men's lumbago backs, and over there in front, hundreds of young men are in agony, bleeding to death. I've got to help them. Oh, Ronnie, you're all I've got. All you've got? Oh, Ronnie. Oh, sorry, Father. It's just that I know that, too. That's what's on my mind, making it so hard to tell you. Do you think I haven't thought of that? Do you think I haven't told myself over and over again? Where would you be if it hadn't been for your father? Oh, I understand. I know, Father. I, I know I owe you everything. But suddenly it came to me sharp and clear. What? All my training has been for purpose. To help those poor devils over there. Well, maybe you're right, brother. Well, of course I am, my father. So I joined up. I'm a captain of the medical corps. Oh. Oh, come, Father. Don't take it so. Oh, me? <laughs> you don't understand, Ronnie. It's a bit of a shock and all that, of course. But I'm proud of you. Father. And if you feel as like it's your duty to go to the war, well, that's what you should do. Probably for you, Father. I knew I could count on you to say that. I was just thinking a moment ago of your mother and how proud she'd be of you, too. Mother? Of course, uh, I was too little when she died to remember her. Yes, you were. But from her picture... She must have been wonderful. Thank you. She was an angel, was my Kate. Here, now, now, this is no time for them sort of thoughts. We've got things to do. So you're leaving tonight, eh? Yes, from Waterloo. Well, I'll be there to see you off, my boy. Right, oh, father.
Peter Hawkins? Yes, nurse, that's my name. You want to see your son, Captain Hawkins? That's what I come for, miss. May I see him? Yes, of course. I, I suppose you know that he's shell-shocked? Yes, sorry tells me. But I just wanted to prepare you, in case you didn't know. Will you come this way, please? Thank you. Come to miss. It's a lucky thing that son wasn't too dead when that blinking shell exploded right in his lap. Yes. Yes, it was. He could have been killed dead like the other two poor devils. This is his room. Yes. Is it all right for me to talk to him? If you wish. Half a moment, miss. Before you open the door. I, I want to get out of the room, that right? Yes, yes, of course. I haven't seen him since he went away, you know. Now then, let's go in. Hello, Ronnie. Look who's here. Whatever we thought we'd meet in the nursing home, eh, Ronnie, my lad? The shells. The shells are near us. What did you say, my boy? Oh, oh, I can't be let up for a while. Shells. Shells. Look there, Captain. Ah, no, no, look here, Ronnie. Look. Look who's come to see you. Morphine. Green. Quarter. No. Make it stand up. I can't operate any faster. Any more supplies, do you hear? How do you expect me to go to the hospital without supplies? <laughs> oh, oh, there's a jam. There's nothing. Come on, Harry. Don't you know me, Ronnie? Look out! Look out! Here comes another one! Okay. Oh, it'll go away. Oh, he's cut. He'll come out all right. Mr. Hawkins, yes. your son will never be any better. Mentally. Oh! Well, I'm... Oh, well, Ronnie. Ronnie. I'm sorry. Okay. Perhaps you'd better leave now. Oh, my poor Ronnie. My poor Ronnie. Yes, yes. What happened to the boy after that? Well, uh, when he got out of the hospital... I sent him to an institution. And ten years later, he escaped. And escaped? Stowed away on a China boat. Mm. And you followed him here? I did, Governor. I've searched for him for the last ten years. A couple of years ago, a blinking Indian hunter told me he saw my son in the jungles of India. Well, why didn't you go to him? Well, I've been trying to scrape up enough cash to get there, Mr. Bradley, sir. But I ain't been able. Now... I guess I'm at the end of the rope. No, you're not, Hawkins. You're just at the start of it. What do you mean, sir? Hawkins, we're going to India to find your son. At last we've heard the story of old man Hawkins. Now on to India and more thrills with Jungle Jim. The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the little king, there's Skippy, the cats and yummy kid, Jigs and Maggie and bringing up father, Toots and Casper, Barney Google, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. See the gripping adventures and also the lighter moments of these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week. Same time, same station for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.